start up hard against the abdomen and we're using the, the thumbs and forefingers on side looking for the symmetry coming down along the cords and when you get to the top of the testicle is the head of the epididymis and that's one of the sites where you often find lumps and bumps then feeling down along the testicle for size as well as lumps and bumps size so effectively two, two uh, drink cans probably not wouldn't be beer cans in, but uh, could be and you're also looking for tone as well as size so they need to be nice and springy not hard like a cricket ball like a new tennis ball is what you're looking for if they're oh, like an old tennis ball soft and flabby then we've got low semen quantity and quality that's not a long-term issue it's just a matter of not enough nutrition then down to the end of the testicle where the tail is and I'll just show you the, maybe you can see the tail where there's a small lump on the end of the testicle you just come down feel both those they're quite variable in size from one ram to another uh, so you really, again, you're needing to look for symmetry. If they're the same, then you can be confident there's no issues. There. And then feel the scrotum that they're, it's a not nice, soft, pliable chamois, not a hard uh, or rough. And if you have that, if you have that um, lack of softness in the scrotum then there's it's harder for the testicle to raise and lower to control body temp the, the temperature of the testicle which needs to be lower than the, the body temperature so that's the idea when they're walking away nice and slowly but squarely not bouncing across the table.